My name is Deborah Lee. Uh, I'm a pediatric neurologist working at Lundbeck and um, in pediatric trials. Uh, what I presented today was, I think, a, um, a example of how to work well with the community, including FDA and um, advocacy groups, as well as uh, experts in the field of pediatric neurology to successfully at least develop a clinical trial program for an ultra-orphan indication, which is Dravet syndrome. And Dravet syndrome is a catastrophic um, epileptic encephalopathy. So it took us about three years to uh, negotiate with FDA for the program that we are um, instituting uh, this month. And um, it, it basically is uh, two studies. Um, the first is a randomized control efficacy study of clobazam in uh, Dravet syndrome and then followed by a long-term extension study. We um, had the advantage of having a lot of data in children already uh, above the age of two, so we were able to utilize that, that data uh, from our studies in lennox gastaut syndrome and clobazam to predict dosing for children under the age of two, which allowed us to proceed to a phase three trial without having to do a phase uh, one trial. We are also implementing exposure response modeling to help support efficacy. And it's been, this will be especially important in case there is um, difficulty enrolling since it is an ultra-orphan indication. And uh, this needed to be done prior to the uh, protocol because we had to predict um, when we needed to draw the PK values. So we had a lot of input, as I said, from FDA, who was very, very helpful in helping us design this trial, as well as the um, clinical investigators. But I, I really want to stress that some of the more important input came from the patient advocacy groups. And when we formed our steering committee, it consists of pediatric neurologist and one patient advocate who um, has worked together to come up with the final protocol.